Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Dino weekly update. Uh, in the next release of Dino, we're extending the types of files you can import. Currently, you can import JavaScript, TypeScript, and JSON files into your module graph. But the next release will allow for WASM, binary blob, text, plain text files, and URL imports. This is using the import attribute syntax that is now stage three in TC39. Uh, Dino tries to make JavaScript programming simpler. And one way it does this is by not allowing arbitrary loaders to intercept and change imports during module loading. Module loaders is a form of metaprogramming that we want to be very cautious about exposing because it can cause difficult to debug situations for users. By supplying these WASM blob text and URL imports, we think that many of the use cases for a lo uh, loader system are alleviated while keeping the module system simple and standards aligned. This week, we launched a new website design on Dino.com. What do you think about it? Uh, of course, it's fully built on Fresh and Dino and Dino Deploy. I'm curious, curious what people think. Uh, thanks to Josh for uh, working so diligently on this the last couple of weeks. A couple of new node compatibility APIs have been added. Uh, CP and CP sync from the node FS module are now available. Uh, we've been careful to use the best available syscalls like clone file in OSX uh, to provide optimal performance. The node implementation, as you can see, is uh, a little bit dated and uh, as of the moment, uh, not, not uh, being super optimal. I'm sure they will improve this uh, soon enough. Uh, of course, it works, works on Windows as well. Yeah, that's it for this week. Uh, we're mostly heads down working on JSR. What is that? I don't know. Uh, stay tuned. Bye. <laughs>